Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius aka Ty Killington. Uh, yeah, man. All right, today's video, I'm going to show you three different double money methods, including the VIP, because the VIP work this week is double cash money. All right, so stick with me all the way through this video. Make sure you guys drop a like because this is going to help you make millions this week, okay? I'm going to break it down for each one of them. You guys pick whichever one you want and we'll talk about the money and everything, all right? Let's get right into it, here we go. So first up, we know about VIP work. VIP work is great, it's super easy, it's one of the best ways a beginner can make money. All you need is 50 grand in your pocket to start. Some of the best VIP missions will be Headhunter, which you see right here, Sightseer, and Hostile Takeover. Those three can be done 100% solo in an invite only lobby or a public lobby or a solo pub, whatever. Okay. Now, when we combine the businesses, which I'll be showing you guys here shortly, those you'll have to be in a public lobby. Do your best to either MTU yourself out or be in a solo pub by just simply spamming find new session. And after a while, it should put you into a solo public lobby or just, you know, have some friends help out as well. All right. Now, headhunter is real simple. You can do this with a chopper, with uh, you know, an armored Karuma, a regular car. It's just way easier if you use a Mark II or a Buzzard, something like that. The Mark II. I mean, most people should have this already, and if not, you need to have it. The Mark II is the best money grind vehicle in the game. It is overall the most efficient. And it's real simple with headhunter. Uh, you have four targets. Two will be stationary; that is, be in one spot, and two will be driving a vehicle. You just roll up on them and you take them out, and you just go on to the next one. Don't worry about the stars with VIP work. As soon as you complete it, you'll be done. All right. You see right here what I'm doing. I just pop a couple of missiles at the vehicles, wait for the guy to get out that has the Chevron red arrow over his head. I pop a third missile and he's done. Okay. So that's how you do that. Let's move on to import export because that'll be one of the other parts that we use for this whole entire money guide. Remember, there's three different versions I'll be showing you for this week. You just pick whichever one fits you the best. Okay. Import export. It's real simple. You upgrade a car, uh, you take it to a drop-off. Now, with import-export, it is a little bit more difficult than the other ones uh, that we'll be talking about today, and I'll, I'll kind of explain a little bit more. Uh, the NPCs are just laser accurate. And to be the most efficient with this method, to hit the numbers that I talk about, you have to be perfect. You can't take any damage from your vehicle. And uh, you, ha you probably want to use a cargo bob, which means you have to buy a cargo bob, and you then you have to be good at flying a cargo bob, and you have to be good at hooking up the car with a cargo bob uh, and transporting. And then some missions, you just simply can't use the cargo bob. And I don't know what it is, but Rockstar, every about 10 minutes, the cargo bob just blows up by itself, and you have to go get a new one. So, you know, import-export is great money. It is not going to be the most efficient because, uh, you know, I've, I've made a lot of money from import export and I will tell you right now, you don't always get those perfect numbers. And a lot of people think that you make a hundred grand off selling the cars. You don't, you only make 80,000 because you have to pay 20,000 for the fee. So it's an $80,000 net profit. And that's only if you do not take any damage, right? Right here, I'm showing you what it looks like to sell against the NPCs without using a cargo bob. You have to wait, you'll get up to four waves of two enemy NPC vehicles that have two enemy NPC characters in each vehicle. Okay, so you have to dust those guys up. It's simple. I know where my little uh, spawn point is for the NPCs with my warehouse. I drive the car to it. I get out. The NPCs are after you. They're not after the car. So you separate yourself from the vehicle. You duke it out with the NPCs. Then you kill them. You wait a few seconds to make sure there's no more waves coming. Get back in the, uh, the cell vehicle and you deliver it. And that's how you do that. That's how you'll, you'll be doing this without a cargo bob. Now, if you had a cargo bob, it's real simple. You want to park it outside of your warehouse. You do the customization to the vehicle. You get out. You hook the cargo bob to the car. You fly it. Make sure you get enough altitude. What's the altitude number? If you've been watching my videos, you know. Minimum altitude is what? Give me a few seconds to answer in the comments down below. Answer the comments what the minimum altitude you need to be at. That's right, 1,100 feet. 1,100 feet is the minimum altitude, even a little bit higher if you need to go uh, you know, over some mountains and things like that. Next up is going to be uh, CEO crates. CEO crates will be the next method that we'll use, or it could be a separate method that you use with the import-export uh, and the VIP work. If you don't really you know, like doing import-export, that's fine. I love doing crates. Crates are uh, really easy. They're, it's kind of therapeutic, actually. 
And this is the method that you'll do with this. It's real simple. Uh, you basically, you know, you want to have two warehouses, though, either too small, too medium, too large. That's really the most efficient way to do this. And the small warehouses are really not that expensive. You can get the cheapest one for two fifty. The next ones, I think, like three seventy or something like that. So you can get invested in this and get set up and going for pretty cheap. Uh, the CEO crate business is actually the cheapest business to get going. It's a million for the CEO office and then two fifty for the cheapest small warehouse. So for one million two hundred fifty thousand, you can be get, you know set up and and you can start making some money. All right. So, uh, and this is what it looks like now. Not every single source uh, will be this easy. Uh, you know. That's what I love about crates, though. You can just get one vehicle, and it counts for three crates. And there are more one-vehicle source missions than there are three crate source missions. So keep that in mind, okay? Uh, that's really cool. So you just deliver that, and you're good to go. And I'll break down what you have to do in just a moment, all right? And don't forget, guys, if you're enjoying this video, if it's helping out already, please drop a like and make sure you subscribe if you're new for more content. And don't forget to turn on those notifications. Ring that bell, all right? So the next one up is going to be the client jobs. Probably going to be my favorite overall. This is by far the easiest, mixing your VIP work with your client jobs. It avoids all cooldown timers, everything. And all the methods I'll be showing you today avoid – I'll show you how to avoid all the cooldown timers. It's, it's, it's pretty simple once you get this going for each one of these methods. Uh, diamond shot. Shopping is probably the most famous, probably the easiest uh, to do with the client jobs. Now, remember, you do have to have a terabyte, which you should already have a terabyte. You have to have a nightclub to have a terabyte, which you should already have a nightclub. You know, there's paywalls that are involved with these things, but we're not going to focus on that. We're just focusing on the method uh, for this video for this week. And, you know, you just bang out your uh, your client job you know, in just a couple of minutes. It actually took me a little bit longer to lose the cops for some reason on this one. Uh, but, you know, in under four minutes, you really, I can get these done in about two minutes uh, tops with the client jobs. It takes about two and a half to three minutes for the headhunter and about four to five minutes with the sightseer for the VIP work. So these don't take a lot of time. Once you get into a rhythm, I've done these so much. I mean, you memorize the locations and you're good to go, right? So let's look at the actual method and the numbers of what you can make. We're going to start with the VIP import export method. It's real simple. You want to start out with a headhunter or a sightseer. Probably a headhunter would be the best one to start out with. Then you sell your car. That starts the 20 minute cooldown timer. Inside that 20 minute cooldown timer, you want to do another headhunter or sightseer, whichever one you didn't do the first time. If you have the availability to do a client job, you want to bang that out next, do a client job. Then you source your vehicle. You have to source a vehicle to pay yourself back from the sale. And then you'll do another headhunter or a sightseer. And then you repeat that process. Level of difficulty, I give that two yellow stars, which is kind of like in the medium zone uh, because you know you, you have to be absolutely perfect to hit these numbers you'll probably want to have a cargo Bob you will have to know how to fly that so there's a lot of you know uh, skill level involved with this and let's be honest you're just it's more often than not you're not going to hit those perfect numbers every single time but you can still make a lot of really good money you'll make between 450 and 500 thousand dollars per hour with this method here 240 for uh, the source vehicles and another 240 on top of that for just doing the client jobs and the headhunter or sightseer so I mean that's pretty lucrative right Right there. Next, we'll talk about the VIP CEO crates method. This is really easy, really simple. You want to start out with a headhunter or a sightseer to get the cooldown timer starting with those. Then you want to source a crate, and then you just simply repeat. You just, uh, you know, you source a crate and you pay yourself back, and you make a little bit of profit on the headhunter and sightseers. You just do that model back and forth. Now, you want to have two uh, warehouses. That way, you can go back and forth on the warehouse sales. Okay, you will be eliminating the cooldown timer by doing the headhunter or sightseer, but on the sale part of it, there will be a cooldown timer on the warehouse itself to make another sale. Now you can bypass that with one warehouse just by simply refilling it again. That's absolutely a possibility. But I like I always recommend having two warehouses because you can fill them up at the same time and almost uh, the same exact time it takes to fill them up to just fill one up. So that's really important. And you want to sell at 927 or a full warehouse, nine to guarantee one vehicle, 27 to guarantee two vehicles, and that's a sweet spot. And a full warehouse can be sold 100 percent solo. Uh, again, difficulty level is pretty easy, um, but it does get a little bit boring. You can make between four hundred fifty and five hundred thousand. Last but certainly not least is the VIP and client job method. Is doing those back and forth, a headhunter and sightseer, then do a client job, then a headhunter and sightseer, and just rinse and repeat that. Super easy, the easiest of the bunch, and consistently you will make the most money with that method. Uh, you can easily make, you can almost do four of these in fifteen minutes, which brings you to to be around about five hundred thousand dollars per hour. 
hours. So there you guys have it right there. Three really good methods, three great methods to make a tremendous amount of money this week. And I have these methods tailored to whichever one you prefer. People always ask me, Ty, what's the best way to make money? And of course, there are different you know amounts that each business will give you. But the best way to make money is whichever way is the most fun for you. All right, it's really the best way. That way it'll keep you engaged in the longevity of the actual game. So I hope this helps out. Again, if it did, leave a like on the video down below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Ills Reels content. The game smash, I mean, smash that like button. See you in the next one. Peace out. Yeah.